Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you guys. Elton McFall here in Montreal, Quebec. It's a cloudy morning on Mother's Day, the 12th of May, 2024. And yes, I wanted to leave this a surprise for a while. I did post a picture of this when I actually finished this a few days ago on uh, on the old uh, face box. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, well, we had to, of course, make a video of it before I shipped the damn thing because I'm going to ship it to ship it tomorrow. I actually finished it a, a few couple of days ago, but uh, I uh, I wanted to uh, uh, wait on shipping it because I proposed something else to Scott, who I, I did this painting for out in uh, in Alberta. And Scott has become, of course, a very great friend of mine because we're we're so much alike. I mean, it's funny how much we both are absolute car fanatics, especially for neglected cars, big sedans, Plymouths, Buicks, whatever, Chevys, and and in this case, his one of his two Renault fives. And um, you know, of course, he's mostly known uh, like myself for his YouTube channel. His YouTube channel is called his YouTube channel is called Cold War Motors. And of course, I've been watching that for. I don't know, probably about 10 years, I think. I think it's already been that long. And uh, anyway, so, um, yeah, I was very confident he would buy this because uh, I had this idea for a while to do this this painting of this UFO here, right, which, of course, also looks like a time portal. It's a little bit dark in here, right? I'm not sure I should have done this here. Oh, well, too late. It's all right. The GoPro compensates. Uh, oh, maybe we could actually add a little light from the living room. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit better. There you go bachelor pad here eh? here's where I charge my phone <laughs> my headphones too anyway uh, yeah well I'll get on to this guy in a moment but uh, yeah so it's uh, it was a fun project to do this because uh, you know again I have a more of an interest in the uh, the occult and the, the, the paranormal and, and ufology uh, more than ever so I've been looking at pictures and videos for quite a few years now of different UFOs unidentified flying objects and I even bought a book a few years ago that I there was a picture pretty much almost exactly like this. It was some artist rendering of a UFO like this, sort of like on its side. And uh, and I thought, man, I could paint that. And then when I went to go to start this painting to draw it out, I'm like, holy shit, I, I, I sold a book. I sold that book like not even three weeks ago, I think. So I said, okay, so much for that. And um, But I'm like, you know what, it doesn't matter because I have a photographic memory. So that's all done from memory. And then, of course, actually, I had to have the paint-taking task of looking for the right uh, still off one of uh, 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 Scott's videos of this uh, Renault uh, sank, which he finished restoring, repainting it in the original color like this last year, which, by the way, wasn't actually the easiest color to match. I mean, I don't remember what it's called, Sierra Gold or something. Let's use some white and some black. And, uh, of course, I got his dog, uh, uh, Francine, we call Frankers, right there. And there's the man himself. Uh, looking big, but I mean, he's a big guy. He's a tall guy like me. So that's another thing we have in common. Physically, even wears glasses like I do. He's tall like I do. He's thin like I am. And he has a deep voice like me. I always said he sounded like Ray Romano, I find. So there you go. So I gave him a good deal on this painting. I gave him a good, the good friend price, uh, which was 230 shipping included. If you're looking into having something, you paint something for you of a vintage vehicle, I would hope. Uh, you can get in touch with me at Elton McFall at hotmail.com. Yes, I still have hotmail. Uh, probably be about 300 bucks. I could try to make it a bit cheaper if it's something with a simple background like that. Well, you know, depends. We'll see. And yeah, I'll be shipping that out tomorrow. I might even package that up today, but I'm so, I'm so fucking tired, man. From the past few days, the weather's been generally lovely and I've been getting out there every day. I mean, you know, spring has sprung. This is the best time of the, the city to be in, really. You know, I mean, just... Just to look, just to look at all the green, the grass turning green and all the, the leaves and the trees are growing. It's just beautiful. Look at that. It's just lovely. Lovely, lovely. I love it. Even if it is a crummy day today. So what? It's not cold. There's all this beautiful colors. There's still some cars on my street that are actually have colors. <laughs> not many. <laughs> There's Gloria. Gloria. Okay. So that says, like I said, you can get in touch with me if you want to have me... Uh, Get in line there to uh, have me do a painting of your vintage vehicle or perhaps a vintage vehicle that you used to have or your parents had or whatever, grandparents, uncle, aunt. And this guy just framed yesterday. This is a photo I had actually advertised for sale uh, for some time on Marketplace, even Kijiji. And uh, my mom actually gave me this frame the other day when I went for supper. So 
I just listed this for $85 because I did it is some work obviously to frame this and uh, lay it out correctly and straight and sometimes you have to like take it apart once or twice again I had to do that for a couple of reasons they the black paper I cut there wasn't was a little bit too long so a little bit off by a, maybe a couple of millimeters so I had to just trim that down a bit so it would fit perfectly and then of course I didn't like the the the, the paper which is supposed to be black but actually looks more like charcoal so I actually gave it a coat of acrylic uh, black paint by hand so that so that it uh, it looks uh, right I don't, I don't, I don't talk too much man yeah and this photo by the way I actually took this photo it's regrettably one of only maybe like four or five photos I ever took of the old Montreal General Motors buses like this they were called new looks also uh, lovingly known as a fishbowl because the front windshield looked like a fishbowl they were made from 1959 by night to 1986 and actually from uh, 1978 or 79 I think till 86 in Canada only because uh, this model was replaced by the RTS which was not as popular in Canada so that's why they kept making these in Canada and uh, so I have a lot of great memories of these. I even remember taking this picture in 1996 with my friend Tim Lindemann on Trans Canada here in Montreal uh, next to the uh, Canada Post Distribution Center. So anyway, this is 85 bucks. It's one of a kind. You're going to buy, you're going to love it. Um, yeah, I just, it's great, you know. But again, when I do stuff like this, it's the stuff I love. So it doesn't really matter if I don't sell it, you know what I mean? So there you go, just a little thing there from the uh, old school area, old school department of my place here. There, look at my kitchen. You think I love cars? No, 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 no. Anyway, so that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching that. And actually, I'm gonna, I think, upload that right away. Plus, I got a transfer also from this GoPro. Um, oh yeah, it was a ride, a ride video I did. I filmed my stepfather when he drove me home from Lachine on the highway, and there was these maniac freaking motorcyclists like absolutely no regard very dangerous driving so i have to put that on a priority more than more than that right itself so thanks yeah i talk too much thanks for watching guys take care merci beaucoup and bonjour me bye bye and thanks again to scott newstead by the way buddy you rock on he's all he's like my number one fan uh him and lenny out in bc because she's also bought a lot of paintings that i did like scott did so that that means a lot to me so take care guys thanks again and be well